Hey what's up guys my name is Rahul and today I am here with an another sketchup based video advanced tool series video and in this video I am going to teach you guys all about rectangle tools like how to use it, its modifier keys and like that kind of stuff. So let's get started. First we need to learn how to use rectangle tool and how you can create rectangles using rectangles tool. So that's pretty easy for select the tool from the toolbar or you can press R on your keyboard that means R is the shortcut key for selecting or opening rectangle tool in SketchUp. So let's get started. First assign the first corner by just clicking on a canvas then move the mouse cursor diagonally then assign the second corner. If you want a very lengthy rectangle you can move the mouse cursor like this then assign the second corner with this much height and this much length then you got a rectangle now you can pull or push this face to create a 3d block like this using push and pull tool it's pretty simple just select the push and pull tool then click on that face move the mouse cursor that's it so now next we are going to learn how to create squares using rectangle tool so before that first go to a proper view like front back or side rise or top then select rectangle tool from the toolbar or you can press R on your keyboard then assign the first corner then move the mouse cursor diagonally and then you will see a dotted diagonal line that means you the shape that you, you probably right there right next to that icon I can tool icon you can say that square that means the shape that you now own is a square so click right there to create or assign the second corner so that's how you create a square without typing measurements so now let's get into how to create precise rectangles that means you need to type the measurements to create a rectangle so if you want to create a rectangle with precise measurements what you need to do is just go to a proper view then select rectangle tool from the toolbar then assign the first corner then move the mouse cursor diagonally then type first the length then comma then the breadth so if I want or you want a rectangle or 100 unit length and 50 unit breadth so what I need to type is 100 comma 50 then hit enter I am not going to explain all of our measurements because it is really complicated and it is related to so many other things on SketchUp. So I will do and explain all things about measurement in another video. So stay connected with us. So I am now created a rectangle with length 100 unit, 100 unit length and breadth of 50 unit. So now let's draw a square by using this method. So if I want a square of length, side length, 50 unit, I want to first assign first corner, then move the mouse cursor diagonally, then type how much I want, 50, comma 50, then hit enter. As you can see, probably right now it is a perfect square. So that's how you create a rectangle or a square using precise measurements. I'm not going to explain all about it. So the next thing is the modifier key. There is only one modifier key for the rectangle tool that is shift that is locking the rectangle in the current inference direction like this. If you hold on shift it will lock on the current inference direction. So that's a pretty simple thing. So the final thing is how to cancel a rectangle tool operation. That is not a very big deal just if you select the first corner and you don't want to select or create a rectangle by clicking the second corner you can cancel this operation by pressing or hitting on the escape key on your keyboard that's pretty simple or you can just create the first corner then move away the mouse and select the other two that's all you cancel that operation that's a pretty simple thing hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'm really sorry if I forgot anything about rectangle tool. I will surely continue to make this tutorial series and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye and subscribe, like, comment, share. That's all you have to do for supporting me. Thanks guys, thanks for watching my videos. Goodbye.